What's up everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna to be giving you the top 10 close range meta loadouts you can be using right now on Rebirth Island and Call of Duty Warzone. We're also gonna give you a couple bonus loadouts that you can just be using with these just to have some fun. So let's get into it. Starting with this first loadout, we're gonna go with the Vaznev 9K. For that Vaznev 9K, you wanna go with the Zima 35 compensated flash muzzle, the DR6 hand stop under barrel, the 45 round mag, the Jack Glasses optic, and the Atrazat stock. So let's see you here in firing range, really good. Uh, mid range to short range option, absolutely loving it. But it is uh, the bottom of the barrel when it comes to the meta. Next, we have the AMR9 and the Renetti, which was recently nerfed. Now it is in the top 10 meta, but it did fall down quite a bit. So for the AMR9, we're gonna go with the Zima 35 compensated flash muzzle, the Regal Pro barrel, the XRK hand stop under barrel, the 50 round mag, and the Jack glassless optic. For the Renetti, we're going with the Zim 35 Compensated Flash, the Nidar Model Sight, the Ravage 8 Stock, the 50 Round Drum, and the Jack Ferocity Carbine Kit. So this dude in the firing range, it did get quite a bit of a nerf and most of it was the range nerf. So keep that in mind as you're using it, but it still feels pretty solid, especially up close. Next, we're going with the new SMG, the FJX Horus. We're going to go with the Zima 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the Martis Heavy Barrel, the Night R Model Sight, the Lopper LXD Stock, and the 48 Round Mag. So this one's here in the firing range. It is very, very solid up close. A lot of fun to run up close. Don't know really what it reminds me of. Let me know what you think this reminds you of in the comments. It really kind of feels like the, uh, I mean, it basically is the MP9 from Modern Warfare 3, the original Modern Warfare 3. Next, we have the Ram 9. The Ram 9, uh, we're going to run the Speedway V5 short barrel, the XRK hand stop under barrel, the 50 round mag, the Retort 90 grip, and the Recon Comb Comb. Show this to you here in the firing range. Still a lot of fun to run, especially up close. It does have a lot of visual shake to it, but it did get a nerf. Next, for more of our top options, we're gonna go with the MCW SMG. I'm running this Silent Shot Integral Barrel here, the DR6 Hand Stop Under Barrel, the Blackout High Grain Rounds, 40 Round Mag, and that Jack Raven Kit, which turns the MCW into an SMG. So this to you here in the firing range. MCW is so, so good. When you have it as an SMG, it's just deletes people, man. Then we have the core 45 pistol. This is the next best option if you've been running the Renetti. If you can if you can control the recoil and you can fire that trigger finger fast, this is the next best thing. Go with the Zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle, the 40 round drum, the XRK conversion kit, the XRK dynamic precision stock, along with the slate reflector sight. And what that conversion kit does is when you pull down the trigger, it fires and when you pull up the trigger, it fires. So you can pretty much spam it, turn it into an SMG if you want. It's got some range to it. If you can control that recoil right there, it's pretty good. Next, we're going to go with the Striker. I like the Zimmer 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the Striker Recon Long Barrel, the 60 Round Drum, and the Jack Glassless Optic. This is more of a sniper support style build for this Striker. But man, it just does not move at all. A lot of fun to run here. Then we're gonna go with the Striker 9. For the Striker 9, I'm going with the Zimmer 35 Compensated Flash, the XRK Edge Hand Stop, the Jack Glassless Optic, the Lockman MK2 Light Stock, and the 50 Round Drum. So this one's you here in the firing range. This one is insanely good too. Love the Striker 9. Absolutely fun to run. Then we have the WSP9. The WSP9 is number two overall for me, just strictly because of its open bolt delay, which means once you pull the trigger, there is a slight pause before the bullet actually releases from the barrel. So that's the only thing holding this thing a little bit back, but still, it's just absolute meta on Rebirth Island for sure. We're going with the Zima 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the WSP Reckless 90 Long Barrel, the DR6 Hand Stop Under Barrel, the 50 Round Mag, and the WSP Classics Factory Stock. Show this to you here in the firing range. The TTK on this thing is absurd absurd as well just absolutely love running the wsp9 
Then the number one overall for me is the HRM9. And that's just strictly because it's just the most consistent. It has the second fastest TTK out of all the close range options. Uh, the close range option that has the fastest TTK is that Core 45 pistol. Then you have the HRM9 and then you have the WSP9 right behind it. So I like all three of these options. The Striker 9 is really, really good too. That hangs in there also. You have these top four options here that are just so, so good. It's hard to choose sometimes. So whichever you're comfortable with, that is the best option for you. Whatever you're more comfortable pushing enemies with to get more kills that's for you all right but this hrm9 is absolutely beautiful i love the zim 35 compensated flash muzzle the thorn 90 barrel the xrk edge hand stop under barrel the 50 round drum and the folding stock for a little bit more recoil control couple of bonus loadouts for you here uh we have the new kv broadside that you can turn into a battle rifle um we have a loadout for you for that awesome it's really really fun to run it only comes with 20 bullets and does take sniper ammo so use at your own risk there but man it's a lot of fun to run it deletes people to be honest but again only has 20 rounds and then we have the bruin bruin is so so good right now and uh, i absolutely love that won a uh ranked game with that the other day if you were at the live stream it was so good and then we have the tac 56 i'm loving the tac 56 right now and then the the Lockman 556. We're gonna give you all these loadouts real quick for bonuses here. The KB broadside, the thing that's gonna make this a battle rifle is the Jack Jawbreaker version kit, which you unlock doing week three challenges this week. Do the Cassis Break L muzzle. Uh, a new under barrel that I'm trying out is the Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip. Seems to be pretty decent. Running the 9R model sight and the Exotac stock. Show this to you here in the firing range, man. It's it's quite a, it's quite fun to run, man. There's not a lot of recoil at all. And again, only has 20 rounds in it, but man, it, it's it's not bad at all. Next for the Bruin, I'm running the Cassis Brake Muzzle, the Horizon V2 Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 60 Round Mag, and I like the Jack Glasses Optic here. So those two, you're in the firing range. Love, love, love the Bruin. Absolute blast to use. The TAC-56 is a ton of fun to run too. We're running the Cassis Brake Muzzle, the Tundra Pro Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 60 Round Mag, and the Jack Glassless Optic. So this one to you here in the firing range, man. Just, there's no recoil on this thing either. I say no recoil. There's very little recoil on this thing. Easy, easy to control. And then for that Lockman 556, Cassis Brake Muzzle, Lockman Wrap Barrel, Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, 60 Round Mag, and the Jack Glassless Optic again. This thing was so much better than I actually thought it was gonna be. Fire rate's really good. I don't think it's not as good as the Bruin or anything like that. It's not meta or anything like that either, but I think it can hang. I think it really does hang with the meta right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video like this or like any of these. We'll see you in the next one.